Hello YouTube! So uh, today we are reacting to 50 Valorant tips and tricks from Mr. Lowlander. Now this vid was made January 15, 2021, which means it's been a full year, well, a full year and more since uh, this vid came out. And we're gonna see if these tips and tricks hold up today, which tricks still work, which tricks uh, don't work too well. So I, I did get permission from Mr. Lowlander to react. So thank you, man. I, I love your content. And uh, if you guys want to see this stuff live, come on over to twitch.tv slash egglick. And if you enjoy the content, please consider they're subscribing to the YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna give you 50 Valorant tips and tricks. In this video, we're gonna focus on ancient ability. Can I just say before anything, Lowlanders, like, Valorant is so nice. It's so smooth. I, I love it. So I won't give specific tips and tricks on maps or guns. Before we start the video, I want to thank everyone. We recently got more subscribers than Human Cat Tree. And now our next goal is the world of cats. Wait, what the f- Lowlander made this vid when he was at like 40, 45k subscribers? Now look at him. He's like 500. Jesus Christ, man. That's insane growth in a year. Holy. With your help, we can do it. Now, let's hop into the first trick. If you want to flash with Phoenix, try not to stand against the wall, but try to stand diagonal to the wall. This way you have a little bit more time to pre-aim the enemies, and the enemies have a little bit less time to react. If Wait, I just realized that's old split. Old split was so narrow. If you place your wall with Sage, don't throw an orb immediately after you place the wall. I see a lot of people doing this in lower elo, but it's useless. Unless you're gonna peek after you throw your orbs, like here in mid split. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, the stim beacon okay. of brimstone gives you rapid fire. This does not work with pistols. So hey, stop using this is the old stim beacon where they still had two charges and it was absolutely garbage and no one actually used it and people didn't like it. But, uh, old stim. <laughs> Unless someone old got a frenzy, stimmy. then it will affect the fire rate. If you play on the defending side with Viper, try to save your wall for the retake. Your wall is really helpful if you is want this to old retake Viper the too? side, like you see in the clip in the background. Also, you decide when you put your wall down. So when you have cover... Is it just me or does this wall look really short? I don't know why, but it, it looks short. Something is wrong with this wall. It's like it, it's, it, it needs to grow or something. What the hell? I think it's because he... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He aimed it lower. It's not on his full try height. Try to save your wall for the retake. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's like... Yeah, it's really helpful if you want to take a side, like you see in the clip in the background. Also, you decide when you put your wall down. So when you have cover, put it down early so you can kill the enemy easy peasy. Okay. If you time it correctly, you can use your shrouded step over breaches. Early. Oh, I've done this once in the past. That's really fun to do. It, it, it feels so satisfying, but it's so hard to time. I'm not sure, but didn't they uh, make breaches ult faster as well? Like the time it, it pops out? If okay. you're playing Omen and you got a Sage on your team on Ascent, oh, I love you can this. use this combo to get to a side. Fun and fun fact, if you guys didn't know, um, this is the first trick we're gonna like disprove. Omen's TP right now is bugged. You cannot do this anymore. You can't even go through, um, you know the window thing? What's it called on Icebox? It's like fence or something, I don't know. But that thing from Snowman to, to B site, you can't teleport through that anymore. And this thing doesn't work too. Um, This should work, supposedly. I don't know if Riot confirmed it as a bug or not, but yeah, you can't do it, sadly. I'm not sure who came up with this trick, but definitely not me. I got it from Flexinja, so credits to him. If you want to flash the teleporter with Yuru and want to push behind it, don't do it in the middle of the <laughs> teleporter. It will most likely flash yourself. Instead of using it in the middle, use it a little bit to the right of the teleporter. It will bounce against the door, go back and will flash behind you. If enemies are Wait, looking really? at you, they will get flashed. And hey, that's pretty nice. Easy peasy. That's if pretty, you want yeah. to use your ult after a double jump with Raze, don't double jump and then use your ult. As you see in the background, it will take a while before you can fire your ultimate. Oh yeah, that's a classic like Raze mistake, right? You need to pop the ult in the middle of the second satchel, right? I don't, I don't know, I don't play Raze, but I think that's... Instead of using your ult at the end, use your ult in between the double jumps. Then you can fire your ult immediately. A nice combo with Breach is using your E over here and then using your C immediately after. A lot Dude, of people old breach. To jump over to that side, but when they are stunned, your C will kill them easy. It's busy. old breach. With Killjoy, Damn. you can throw your Nano Swarm in the middle of container. If you activate it, it will hit almost all the plant spots on B side bind. You That's can so make useful. A one way with Killjoy and a Sage Ball. The good thing is that you can almost make it everywhere. The bad thing is that it costs a lot of abilities <laughs> and you can only shoot on the enemies. Dude, didn't they patch this? Because Grim found out, Grim and Flo like found a bunch of like weird shit with the walls. Didn't they patch this? Didn't, couldn't you also do this with like weird, I, I don't know. I think they patched this. But it can be useful somewhere, so try it out. 
Use your ult and updraft combo with jet. Oh, okay. Everyone still uses this. And updraft combo with jet to get free kills from unexpected angles. You can see a few examples of this in the background. I feel a bit silly to explain this, but I still get a lot of questions how you can do it. You can press R to change your form in your smoke ability with Omen. Reina, her. You know, I just want to comment. I never use the uh, the transparent one. I don't know. I think beta players use it more. That thing seems kind of useless to me. I don't know. It's a bit faster, is it? Flash got the maximum range. So, for example, if you want to flash Silong, don't flash it over here because it does not reach the back of Silong. The same goes for Cypher and Killjoy and other h That's a great by cam, the by the way. Be unpredictable. So use different camera spots, strip wires, mm -hmm, kill your mm -hmm. turrets every round. Take notes, chat. You can hide your nano swarm behind this spot. The enemy will not see it. You can also hide your alarm bot and your nano swarm in this spot. Over Wait, can't you put a camera there? I know, I know back in the day people put cameras in weird places in hookah. For here. Just keep in mind that they both make a lot of noise so the enemies might find it anyway. In the background, you see me flying and spraying. They also call this an attack helicopter. <laughs> if you like this attack helicopter, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps growing my channel. Thank you. <laughs> when you use your flashbang with Sky, you can hold your ability button to aim where your bird flies. You don't have to do it, like you see in this clip. Your bird fly automatically around corners, so you can push behind it. The first option is good to use if you want to fly your bird over buildings, like you see in the clip in the background. Okay. If you want to retake A on Haven with Killjoy, place your ult over here. If you look on the minimap, you see only one place enemy players can hide. Then stand over here, match the top left corner of your ability with the top left corner of the window. This is good though. And throw your Molotov. This nano swarm will nicely land in the corner. But people usually have lineups for that ult. This is like when people used to complain that Killjoy was overpowered with her ult and Here an essential lineup for a short with Phoenix. Aim at the top of the building and do a small running throw. This is a very, very nice Damn, lineup. this is a Phoenix trick. People still use Phoenix back in the day. Look at this chat. Now we know these clips are super old because people actually... I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Phoenix mate. When playing with Yuru, throw your flashbang so the enemies has as little time as possible to react. So in this case, don't throw it against the wall on side, but throw it against the window. Or even better, use the ground. You have to be careful with this one though, because you might flash yourself. Instead of throwing your nano swarms on the bomb mm -hmm. every round, try to learn lineups with Killjoy, like this one. Stand in this corner, aim a little bit left of the roof. Down, lowlander with the lineups, lineup. man. Throw this nano swarm before the enemies are planting. If you're playing jet, okay. always keep moving if you use your ult. I see a lot of people standing still, then shoot, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then walk away. But instead of doing that, just keep walking and keep I shooting. See it's a little harder to do, but it will help you get easy kills. With race on ascent, this is an easy running and jumping throw. That got me a lot of kills. Oh. Wait, where does that go? If you're playing with the... Wait, does anyone know where that goes? Is that like middle of sight or something? Me a lot of kills. Middle of sight, right? Like default plan? Me a lot of kills. Oh. If you are playing with a sage on your team, stand over here in split, let her use her wall, and then use your double jump with ult combo to look to a ramp. This will cost a lot of abilities, but it- This is actually wild, Will. Imagine being killed from this spot. I, I don't know if this is patch. Does anyone know if this is patch? But this is kind of wild. Like, no one is going to be pre-aiming this spot, dude. Absolutely no one. I actually kind of want to try- This will cost a lot of abilities, <laughs> but it might work. You never know. If you want to defend the bomb with Viper, it's highly recommended to use your smoke in combination with your poison. You can do this by throwing your Q on the spike and using your C ability with a lineup. Mm -hmm. Here are two easy lineups on default plant on split. For both lineups, stand in this corner. Mm -hmm. For the lineup behind the billboard, aim at the top right of the light of that building. Mm -hmm. And for the other lineup, aim at the bottom left of the light of the building. Hey, these are pretty easy lineups. These lineups will nicely land on default plant. Easy peasy. I've learned something new today. Here an easy lineup with race that I use all the time. Just stand over here. Aim a little bit under the middle of the top box and do a jumping throw. That's, that's, that's really useful, actually. Especially, like, if your team doesn't have smokes, which happens kind of frequently low elo, right? I don't know how often it happens, but I'm assuming it happens a lot. This is really useful to just, like, buy your team time. Haven't, yeah, If wait. you want to get on the tube fast, you can use this double jump. With the correct timing, you can stay alive if you use your Phoenix ult before the raise ults hit you. Hey, did you guys know you could jump over the uh, raise ult? I've seen a few like videos of people jumping over the raise ult and it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm gonna never let no smokes happen because I'm an omen. Nice, omen means unite. 
with Omen, you can use your oh, Shrouded wow. Step before you... Wow, I, I, we, we talk about Omen and the next clip is an Omen trick. <laughs> you enter the teleporter to fake a teleporter. You can press... Okay, I just want to say there's another trick you can do with Omen. You jump into TP and then you teleport inside the teleporter. And some people who aren't very familiar will think that you fake the TP when you actually didn't. You can press your right mouse button to place two fake outs on the ground. After that, you can activate them from anywhere on the map. Oh, it's all the If Yoru ults inside Viper's ult, Viper can see him. It's all the Yoru. Instead of using the same sofa lineup back to back, try to learn lineups where the arrows will land on the same time. Most of the time, the enemies will expect the second arrow. So with these double lineups, the enemies won't expect it and will die instantly if both arrows hit them on the same time. For a very easy cipher, oh one my, stand against this corner, split. aim over there and throw your smoke. Easy peasy. Doesn't that Cypher lineup still work though? I I'm pretty sure this one still works. You can use this one way in combination with your- Dude, this is like looking at old split just makes me realize how defender sided it was. Jesus Christ, that is narrow. One Sage Slow and one Raze Nade and everyone's dead. Camera for easy kills. If you play with an operator and you make a kill with Reyna or Jet, always use your E ability to get to safety. Reyna and Jet are the only two agents that can get to safety after they make no, a kill. That's jet. why they are, in my opinion, the best agents to play with an operator. If the you want to, the split Jet Sage trick still works. Nice. Go for an aggressive peek with Jet on Icebox. Stand against the barrier. Spam your dash ability and make a kill. Cool, Easy peasy. Man. This one is a little bit risky, but I believe you can do it. That's kind of scary. Like that is actually Don't really use the scary. Same wall at the same place, especially with an down with Sage. Try to wait a little bit, or even better, try to go on a different side each round. From my own experience, if people are playing Sage on A every round, I always go to B or C. I avoid Sage, because Sage is a pain to push, you know? That's Be true. unpredictable. Be unpredictable. Well, if Be they push mid, then you're, you're dead. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm, I'm really trying my best at this English thing, but <laughs> I'm not good. Sorry, sorry. If you want to smoke something, try to always smoke on the opposite side of the wall. In this case, you have to smoke on that side. Yeah, this, this will is... give you a lot of advantage. In the clip in the background, you see... This is not even like a trick. Because this is something everyone should know. If you're smoking this out, your smoke should end like here. Because if your smoke is out here, then people can peek you from here, from here, from anywhere. But if it's here, then they can only peek you from this place. So... You know... This will give you a lot of advantage. In the clip in the background, you see someone who didn't do it. Because the enemy omen smoke more the side than CT, I could push on the right side of the smoke yeah, without people from elbow seeing me. Yep, that's not a If great you want smoke. to do the Everence Jones trick, shoot your arrow with full charge and two bounces on the ground. Then shoot one arrow with full oh, charge man, and two bounces this thing. in the air. Good luck with this one. Try to use your jet smoke as a one way. The good thing about this is that you can use it almost everywhere. You will have to practice how high your smoke has to be. If you want to use your ult with brimstone, try to use it and peek immediately after it. This way you can get a lot of free kills. That's true, people will if be running Tasmanian away. If Tasmanian Tiger is running towards you, Tasmanian it's maybe tiger. better to don't shoot it, but just walk away. Huh? This way you oh. give the enemy oh. less <laughs> Oh, the sky! Because oh, the vision okay. of the Tasmanian the Tiger is not that high. You can just walk away Tasmanian without tiger kick the enemy seeing kickers. you. And sorry for last video, I called it a tiger, but a Tasmanian tiger is something different. Sorry for that. <laughs> if you want to push with Breach, try sometimes to flash two times, this might fake the enemy. Well, this is the end of the video. If I didn't mention something, let me know in the comments and I might make a part two. If you like this video, please give a like. It really we like, we like the video, Mr. Lowlander. Alright, chat. We like the video, we like the video, yeah, yeah, yeah.